how an arthritis drug in the world can work for diabetes. You will be surprised to hear today. Hello everyone, if you are looking for exclusive deals, some blogs, educational content every week delivered to your email, subscribe to our newsletter at sugarmds.com right now. Well, the drug Aronofin, I'm not even sure if I'm saying this correctly, but I read it, so I don't know how it's pronounced, so don't keep me liable for that. It is actually currently used to treat rheumatoid arthritis, but has been found by researchers from Baylor College of Medicine, which I love, and some other institutions actually, to have the potential to be repurposed to treat symptoms that are associated with diabetes. Look at that. Well, the findings of the research, or the research project, were published in Journal Cell Metabolism, which is a very highly rated journal. Even though researchers have found links between inflammation in white adipose tissue, which is a type of fat, as you know, and insulin resistance in, in both humans and rodents, the broad anti-inflammatory treatments have not been shown to have any clinically significant effect on diabetes, right? So you don't take ibuprofen to treat diabetes. But in the current study, the researchers looked for pre-existing medications that might have an effect on both diabetes and inflammation in an effort to gain a deeper understanding of the connection between the two conditions. You know, diabetes is an inflammatory condition. Now, because uranofen has an anti-inflammatory effect, there is widespread speculation that it could be useful in the management of obesity and diabetes. On the other hand, there was only a bit of information on how it might influence metabolism. Not a whole lot. But in order to investigate the effect of uranofen on the metabolic processes within the body, the research team utilized a mouse model of diabetes in which the animals consume a diet high in carbs and fat. That, you know, that's the easy way to get diabetes, right? Well, they discovered that uranofen has anti-inflammatory and anti-diabetic effects that are independent from each other. In addition to this, uranofen was able to improve insulin sensitivity, which is defined as the body's ability to respond to insulin, as you know, and maintain healthy blood sugar levels. But insulin sensitivity is also known as, what is it? Insulin responsiveness, right? Well, the drug was actually able to normalize those changes associated with obesity and in all of the tests. One of these changes were hyperinsulinemia. What is it? It means too much insulin in your blood. So typically, you know, we check it by checking the insulin in a fasting state and see how high it is and look at your glucose at the same time to understand your insulin resistance. In addition to this, they found the accumulation of uranofen in the white adipose tissue of obese mice caused a reduction in the inflammatory responses of the mice without having an effect on the mice's overall body composition. So as you know, the, the reason that we have inflammation from diabetes is the fat cells. So the fat cells create all this inflammation and this medicine appears to be affecting that. Do you remember me talking about the benfotiamine, the alpha lipoic acid, L-carnitine to stop the diabetes complications in some other videos? right? You know that? Well, sugar MD neuropathy support, as you know, has all those great natural defense systems that it won't hurt anyone except to help you, you know. So it will help prevent medical complications from diabetes. These are known things. These are, you know, basically vitamins are available everywhere, but this is a medication. It's the first time. So it involves also hormone level leptin. The researchers found when they investigated what was behind these metabolic changes, they found that the uranofen was responsible for reduction in leptin, which is the hormone that's the reason for obesity. There is a connection between being overweight 
as you know, and having elevated levels of leptin, or we call this leptin resistance. So that is connected to insulin resistance as well as diabetes. Now, the white adipose tissue's capacity to react to the catecholamines, which are the adrenaline levels, was also improved as a result of treatment with aronofen. Now, when you have insulin resistance, you have increased sympathetic tone, and your catecholamines, the adrenalines, they're all high, and they create insulin resistance, right? So this medication seems to affect that as well, because those catecholamines have an effect on your adipose tissue and so forth. So, and eventually, when you regulate that, you respond better to weight loss and so forth. So maybe one of the reasons that the Adipax or Fentramine helps some people is that, you know, it helps with some uh, fat burning process. Now, a combination of all these changes led to overall improvement in insulin sensitivity in the mice, which in turn results in blood glucose control, which is the ultimate goal of diabetes treatment, right? Combining these changes leads to an overall improvement in insulin sensitivity, which again means glucose control. Now, I am very excited about these findings. Look, I'm an integrated medicine guy. I love herbs, I love holistic stuff, but when a medicine comes out and shows promising things, I get excited because I'm a scientist as well, okay? So yes, more research will be required to effectively understand the strategy about what to do this with this medication. But I will not be surprised if this drug becomes, you know, a new medicine with a thousand dollar costs in da 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 da. I understand all that, right? But it is something to help diabetics, and I appreciate that. Now, again, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support for the channel by taking time to watch this video entirely and by giving the video a thumbs up, okay? If you found the video particularly helpful or exciting or interesting, it will be hugely important and I will be grateful if you can share it with your friends. And I love hearing from weavers about their comments. Some of them are really funny, inter entertaining. I love it. And some of them are teaching i learn from you guys so but even sometimes a simple thank you goes a long way in making my day and letting me know that my work is appreciated i wish you all the best of luck and most of all have a great day and thank you for watching hey guys i hope you are enjoying this channel so far and i hope you subscribed already if you didn't do it and if you did watch this video right there i think that will help you too